Okay, so welcome to the part two of the API automation with Rest Assured plus Cucumber BDD. All right, so last time what we have done is we have basically created our first feature file, right? Where we have added one scenario. The scenario basically says that we will make the request here. Uh, direct we will basically say get all get all request is nothing but uh, this uh, endpoint right and the url we're going to use is slash post because if you see we have a slash post here and we will get 200 okay message right after this so we're gonna uh, automate this scenario first okay we have created our feature file now let's define our definition we're gonna create a class and let's name it as very similar to the rest api post and let's say dot java okay awesome all right so there is a very interesting feature for uh, in uh, intellij is basically if you uh, uh, click over here right there will be a bulb icon which says create a step de step definition where you want to create a step definition for it if i click this right it will ask me where you want to create right so it's basically telling me uh, let's uh, make it little bit yeah it's saying that uh, i can create uh, here in the java in java 8 and i'm going to create in the test java folder so we will say uh, please create in the definition right and so this will be uh, let's say rest api post uh, let's say step create okay now you will see that it has automatically created so we don't need to create from scratch so we can delete this right and here it has automatically created for us now if you click on this right if, if you click here right it will again say where you want to create this so now it is giving me option that i do i want to create an existing one or do i want to create a new file for it you can create as much as you want but i'm going to create on the same one so here you will see that uh now everything is basically work see this is the feature file which uh, here these are mapped to the this files make sense cool awesome so uh pay attention to the little little things so we are doing get call and make sure this is in double quotes and you have a url here right and response code is here so when we have created the uh, feature uh, definition files for it right so here i have added a very dummy code a uh, very interesting code here i have basically made a base url which will be our base url from till here right from here to here and this will be our base uri right make sure recording is on okay here i have just added one before method which will basically just initialize that it's a scenario that we are using and here make sure you, this is the correct one we are using a curl these brackets square these brackets okay and this parameter url will be passed here so what I have done is very simple thing, which is rest assured. Uh, I have created a base URL. I have created a request specification that we have already discussed. Uh, we are using a given method and we are getting the response here, right? So this one is this thing. And in the then we need to verify the status code also, right? So here, what we are doing is again, this is a string. So that's why we have added a string. So let me do one thing. Let me suppose this is not present and you want to create it from here, right? If you see, uh, you can basically hover over it and here you can see create a step in the same file. So it will create for you guys. Okay. So this is how I have created it and let me undo. Okay. So this actually, if you see this actually is a code and this actually is English. Okay. So English is mapped to the code here that thing oh now what we are doing is very simple we are just extracting the status code that we are doing and we are doing an assertion based on it one important thing that i have added is i have added a cucumber property publish is equal to true here so that uh, we are able to uh, publish the report also okay so now you just need to run the feature file click on this run uh, if you are using intellij it will be very easy if you are using eclipse uh, you will see find the same similar thing it will basically do the it now it, if you see it is running and we have a successful so we have a one scenario this is a one scenario and we have two steps right step one step two and if you see they have published the report also let's open the report awesome so this is this is a temporary report uh, that we they are publishing it to the website 
here you will see we have a successfully able to do it and this is a very awesome report and you can share it directly this link will be available for 24 hours and there's no uh, information i mean uh, so this is a really beautiful report for us right and uh, yeah so that's how you can do it so let's do one thing let's add another another scenario for you guys let let's add another scenario okay i'm just going to do a copy paste so here what we will do is we will basically uh, verify a single first uh, first step uh, we'll do get call to one. Uh, let's do it for two. Okay. So two, we will verify that author should be remote in this case. Okay. Let me do one. Let me modify this thing. So we are basically now let's do one thing. Get call to single uh, single ID. Okay. And we're gonna mention the uh, URL. So URL will be here let's say two i'm just hard coding it and here i will just verify instead of status code i will verify author let's make it like a small one author and that should be promote let's say promote okay now it's response instead of response is i'm gonna say response author is instead of status code we will say author Cool. So uh, this one we can use the same. See this this call and this call are similar. So we don't have to use. Uh, that's why we have used uh, the parameters, right? So this call and this call is similar. So you don't have to write the definition now. Only you have to write the definition for this. For example, let me see. So here, if you see, you will see the icon. Say it's basically saying create definition, create in this one. And here you just need to write it here. So let me write it for you guys. Okay. So what we need is we need to extract. Uh, first of all, we need instead of status code, we need to extract the ID. So it this will make the request, and we have a author, author available, right? Extract. So we're gonna use a path. So path will be author. This is hit and trial, guys. I'm also not sure if this will work. I'm just trying out. Okay, so string author will be this, and we will do the actual mapping similar here. So instead of status code, uh, we will mention uh, this is your expected, right? So actual is, and what we are getting as a we are getting as a argument arg zero, right? This argument. So this is coming as from this one, promote. So promote should match with the promote. But if you see, it's a smaller one. So let's make it smaller and let's run it and let's see if we are getting any error or something. Okay, because we will fix that error. So first test case will run. So first one is fine. Second one is also fine. So it's saying it's fine. So it's running only the first scenario as of now. So let's run the second one. Okay, so response is uh, so we are able to get it. I think uh, where is my report, bro? Yeah. So this is a report. Let's open it. Awesome. So we have, uh, if you see, it is, we are able to run it successfully. Response is for, is matching fine. Let's run the feature now. So both of the scenario will be run now. Okay. So first one and the second one, and our report is ready. Right. And here you will see both of them are run successfully, and everything works fine. Let's do one thing. Let's uh, fail the test and let's see the report now, because the that we want to see also, right? So our uh, rest assured is now working with. Uh, so if you see, we have an error here, failed scenario. You will see that uh, we have a failed scenario here. So report is not published, is it? Oh, the report is published now. Alright, and if you see, we have a failed scenario, and they are giving that it's basically not matching uh, from with the promote. D is not matching with the promote. That's why. All right. So I hope this makes sense, guys. Uh, I hope uh, so. We have done everything from this uh, tutorial. And uh, JSON server, just let you let you know, you can install JSON server from here. NPM package. Make sure you download Node first, and then you can download it. And uh, yeah, simple JSON. You can create a simple JSON and run it okay so they have given you some example how you can do it and this is your db.json you can create accordingly so post example they have already given just copy this and save it as a db.json and here 
you yes you just need to run this uh, command json server minus db.json right and this will start the server for you guys the similar server okay awesome thanks a lot guys for watching i hope uh, you have learned something new in this video i'll see you in the next one bye